Welcome to Grayon Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a quarter circle uh, ABC and it overlaps this uh, uh, red circle with center at E. And this uh, circle has intersections with this uh, quarter circle at DH being a tangent to uh, the arc AC and the uh, uh, side BC respectively and uh, uh, this uh, circle all also intersects this uh, uh, this quarter circle uh, via point G and F and the distance from uh, B to F or segment BF measures uh, one unit and segment BC which is also the radius of this uh, quarter circle is uh, 7 units and we are required to find the area of the red circle okay so for these types of problems again so we are required to find the uh, right triangles and uh, we start by drawing a uh, radius from the center e uh, to f so this is actually a radius center to us point on the circle so we can call this r and we draw another uh, vertical line uh, this is also there will be the radius because it will be 2.h okay so and a horizontal line from f to the segment uh, eh perpendicularly to segment eh and since this is a one unit length so this will be also 1. So since EH is equal to R, then this length is actually uh, R minus 1. And uh, as you can see, we already formed a right triangle with the uh, one leg as R minus 1 and the hypotenuse as R. Okay, so next is we label this uh, other leg as uh, A. So this link. Okay, so from this uh, point of tangency at D, uh, I mean, we should focus uh, next on the quarter circle. And from this point of tangency at D, we can actually draw a line uh, towards uh, B. And this line passes through the center of the circle at E. Okay, so you may ask uh, why this uh, segment B, E, and B are actually collinear. They are collinear because uh, they are these two, uh, uh, this semicircle, a quarter circle and the circle are actually mutually tangent. And if you have mutually tangent uh, circles or quarter circle or semicircle, then their centers will uh, be collinear. Okay, so since the radius of this uh, uh, quarter circle is, uh, I quite, the radius of the uh, circle is actually decided as R, then uh, uh, this length will be, this length from E to B will be 7 minus R. If you focus on the this uh, EB so because uh, this uh, segment DB is actually 7 okay so it is 7 because uh, it is the radius of the quarter circle and we need to subtract this uh, radius uh, to get this uh, length EB so it is uh, 7 minus R Okay, so next is we label this uh, this uh, unknown uh, this point with the label. So let us label this as uh, G. This point, the ninety degree angle of the uh, blue triangle. Okay, so next is we are to focus on the two triangles, triangle uh, EFJ. So, 
we have EFJ. Okay, so EFJ in in triangle uh, E B H in E B H. Okay. So as you can see, they have the uh, same uh, leg, same length. The one of their legs are actually congruent. So <coughs> J F is equal to H P, which is A. So for E F J, we have A squared. And for uh, E B H, we have uh, A squared also. Okay, so for E F J, we have here, uh, this is actually one leg. So uh, this leg is equal to, uh, this leg square is equal to the hypotenuse square minus one leg square. So, so for this uh, E F J, uh, the hypotenuse uh, is r square and we need to subtract this uh, e j so r minus one square is equal to a square for the e b h and for e b h the hypotenuse uh, is seven minus r square and the other leg is uh, uh, the radius which is e h so e h so minus uh, r square so this is actually the e h so this is a uh, r so we need to subtract this r square okay so now we solve this uh, equation and we should find the value of r so we have here uh, to copy just to copy this uh, r square then minus this uh, r square minus 2r plus 1 is equal to 7 square which is 49 minus uh, 14r plus r square minus r square and we can uh, copy this r square then minus r square plus uh, 2r minus 1 is equal to 49 minus uh, 14r plus r square minus r square and we cancel this this becomes 0 and this becomes 0 also and uh, uh, 2r uh, if we put this uh, negative 14 to the left hand side, we have 2r uh, minus or plus 14r, this becomes 16r is equal to 49. If we put this uh, negative 1 to the right hand side, this becomes plus 1. So 16r is equal to 50. And if we divide both sides by 16, so we just cancel this and this becomes divisible by 2. So 25 over 8. So R is equal to 25 over 8 units. Okay, so for the final step, since we have already the radius, so it is now easy to find the area. So area is equal to pi r square so area is equal to pi times 25 over 8 square so we have area is equal to this becomes 625 over 64 so 625 pi over 64 square units and that is our answer so thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.